miss me? Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Mikey! Ah, you gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged. A few moments later. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. One eternity later. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't want to silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Have to go. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. Come on. We haven't broken him yet. Just tell me what to say. I will panic. My heart. Please don't. It shouldn't be legal. It's torture. Oh. No. Don't do it. Not the... <laughs> I know it's legal, but he can still drown. Let up! He might drown. He's wet, all right. Let up. Help me pick this up. I'm alive! <laughs> like it never happened. I wish it never happened! Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. 
Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the... Don't! This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right. I mean, it's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need the description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I'll tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him up. No, please. Tell me where to start. Are any of those teeth less useful than the others? No, 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 no. Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hasn't this man done enough for national security? Rise and shine! The light. Let me go through it. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk the day I got given up. The secret That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height. Middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. Not enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, sure, shit. Sure. Let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! I'm gonna level with you. This'll hurt. Not the clips. Not the clip. Don't do it. No clip! He's done. All right. I think he's getting a sniffy. So what have you got for us? Hmm? 
We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 Steve's saying, Beard, what do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. <laughs> He's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. Where you want it? Nowhere. <laughs> Isn't this a small one? Come on. The breaker. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work for the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mitsu. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Hey, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey! How's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you. A few moments later. Me to the airport. Can I make it out of here? It would be... Run! 
You're free? Oh, what? But my family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.